Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Azrin here, owner of the Calgary Language Nerds, and welcome to today's YouTube video and of course podcast episode. I want to talk about two mistakes I see language learners make. The first one is I see a lot of language learners who overvalue thinking and undervalue doing. They overvalue thinking about how to optimize their language learning journey, and they undervalue actually taking steps to progress in their in their in their proficiency. So the classic example of this that I see regular regularly when I teach people is when I'm teaching beginners, they get really old, they often get overwhelmed quite quickly. And they despair and worry that they're not going to learn a certain element of the language. So I teach you uh, who knows what it is, I teach you a new word. And now you know, 10 words, and they go, Oh, my God, there are so many words, how will I remember them all? I can't do this. Or I teach them, uh, we do like a listening drill or a listening activity. And they go, oh my God, that was so difficult. And this is just a beginner level. How will, I, how will I ever be able to watch Netflix in Spanish? Oh my God, this is so hard. I can never do this. Oh boy. And so they get discouraged very easily. Um, and they spend a lot of time in their own heads and in their emotions about learning a language. And, and the beginner phase is often the answer is just, just keep going one step at a time. Keep learning. Keep trucking along, right? keep moving, right? Don't get stuck in your head, stuck in your emotions. So that's one common mistake. I would say that mistake is maybe it's more common at the beginner level. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I, I would probably say it's more common at the beginner level, but it's not only beginners who do this. Now, the second mistake, which is probably more common at the intermediate level or higher, is getting stuck in a routine that is no longer working for you, okay? So here's a classic example I've seen of this. There are, there's a percentage of language learners who learn a language by taking lots of very cheap classes on italki.com or a similar platform. Maybe they're learning Spanish and they find instructors that charge like six bucks an hour, seven bucks an hour. So what they do is they just take like three, four or five classes a week for six bucks a class or something like that. And they just talk and talk and talk and talk with all these people. They're not really learning in a structured fashion. They're just talking and learning by doing. And so they get to this intermediate conversational level and they keep doing that to try and get better and they find that they get stuck. So this is a very classic example. Or another example might be someone who used a certain set of apps to learn a language, but those apps maybe cap out at a certain level. They cap out at a upper beginner level or something like that. And so they actually do reach, the, the, the language learner does reach an upper beginner level, but then they get stuck and they keep using similar or the same apps over and over, expecting those apps to get them to the next level. So they're stuck in this routine that it's not really working. You know, uh, another example, I actually know a couple people have done this where uh, they're learning XYZ language, French, Spanish, whatever it is. They reach, let's say, an intermediate level and they keep spending 20 minutes, 15 minutes a day on Duolingo doing stuff that's probably not overly helpful for them, but they're doing it just to keep up their streak, just to get their points. And I think to myself, I will tell them sometimes, I don't think what you're doing is overly helpful for your level. And they say, yeah, maybe you're right. I got to keep up the streak. I got to, I like the points. And, and I'll say, do you really find it helpful? Yeah, it is helpful, I think. And so what's happened is they're in this routine and a percentage of the routine, maybe it's a big percentage, maybe a small percentage, you know, it's not as helpful as it once was because your level has changed. So again, this kind of getting stuck in a routine that maybe doesn't fully serve you the same way it used to, I think it's more common for intermediate learners, or maybe even advanced learners, um, and not as common at the beginner level. But I suppose you could get stuck at a beginner level too, that does happen as well. So as a summary, two common mistakes I see language learners make. The first one is you overvalue thinking and you get stuck in your thoughts and your feelings. You undervalue doing. Imperfect action is often the solution to whatever language learning challenges you're having. Okay. And the second, and that's more common, I would say, at the beginner level more than other levels, although it does happen at a variety of different levels. And the second one is getting stuck in a routine that no longer serves you. Maybe it served you at one point and it was helping you progress, but now portions or the Portions of the routine or the entire routine are not actually that helpful for you anymore because your level has changed. Again, that second one is more common for intermediate learners or above. 
Although sometimes people get stuck in a routine that doesn't even allow them to leave the beginner levels. Like that, that does happen too. Hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me by visiting azrinthelanguagenerd.com slash contact. That's A-Z or Z-R-E-N, thelanguagenerd.com slash contact. You can email me there. Social media is there. Everything is there. And I'd be happy to uh, answer any questions you might have. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Well, wow, that sunlight's pretty crazy, eh? Video people. It's crazy sunlight on me.